Hi guys, this video is going to show you some templates you can use for your Canvas homepage and also how to direct link on your homepage. So let's get started. Templates are down in the Commons, so click the Commons icon and then to find them, search Horner. Over here, choose Latest. There are a total of eight templates, so as long as you see all eight, you're good to go. If you don't see all eight, you can filter by Westfield Washington Schools and then you should definitely see all eight. I'm probably not gonna open all eight in this video, so I'll just show you a couple of them, but know that there are eight to choose from. And from a template, that's you can use as is, or you can kind of modify it to meet your own needs. So let's look at one here. We've got a welcome banner. We've got a spot for a welcome message that you can customize. We do have some buttons. Some of the templates have buttons. Some of the templates do not. It's kind of a preference if you like buttons or not. But what you can do with buttons is link to additional information. So in this case, I would link to probably a Canvas page or a Google Doc that has all my contact information. And then I could talk about my office hours and how that works on Monday through Thursday versus Friday. Anything about my virtual meetings, you get the idea. But these would become hyperlinks. And again, some templates have the button, some don't. So do what you like. Most important part of every template, though, is the agenda. So with our agenda, we want the most recent week on top. We've got a spot here for any um, goals, essential standards, I can statements that you're going to focus on for that week. Customize this however your building would like you to. Some buildings are going to customize by goals, others might by I can statements. If your building doesn't have a requirement for you when it comes to this, you could type in the unit of study, the chapter, whatever would kind of fit there, just letting kids know kind of the topic of the week. So there's that. Notice I have week one and the date, so you'd be changing this information each week. Then we have all of our gold and green with our, our weekdays down the center. Requirements for our agenda this year, due today and agenda. Those two requirements were the same as last year. What is missing is the homework requirement. With virtual lessons, everything is homework, so that got a little complicated fast, so we just took it off, okay? So everything you're doing in class that day goes in the agenda, and it would be awesome if you could write it in the order you want kids to do it. And then I'm going to be showing you in this video how to link directly to all of those activities. We're not going to ask kids to go search and find anything. We're going to link everything directly into the agenda. All right, so let's say you like this template. You would simply click Import Download, choose the course or courses that you want it in, come down here and say Import into Course. From there, you will need to set it as your home page. All right, let's look at another option. That one had buttons. Let's look at one without buttons and a different agenda style. So this one also has a banner. Welcome, oops, this one does have the buttons. Let's see if I can, let's see if I, it was probably this one then without buttons. There we go, here's one. We still have the banner, we still have the welcome information, but no buttons. So if you're not into buttons, there's some templates for you. This part's all the same, but notice instead of vertical gold on one side, green on the other, now we're horizontal. So maybe you like this layout a little bit better. I've got week one right here, dates right here. And then to keep the most recent on top, you will, at the end of the week, copy all of this and then paste it under last week. Then you'll delete out the information here, change the dates, and here's week two, because we always want the most recent week on top with the previous weeks following, okay? Let's look at one more. Again, there's eight, but we'll just pick one more. Uh, I'll pick this one. It has a little different banner to it. So here's a different banner, some buttons again, and then our agenda. Now, you could grab this template and then change out the banner get rid of the buttons, add buttons, you can do whatever you want. But here's some things that you need to keep. We definitely need some welcome information, right? Kids need to know some things about your class in order to be successful about your class. So for each teacher, it might be a little bit different, but make sure you have some sort of a welcome message. 
If you aren't going to use buttons, make sure that you have your contact information, your office hours, and any information about your virtual meetings, virtual help sessions, virtual live lessons up in your welcome message because we definitely need to include those three things. Okay. So with the banners and buttons, if you want to customize your own or just pick something different, I did give you at the bottom of your requirements document a link to a Google Drive filled with different banners and buttons. You're welcome to come in here and see if there's something else you prefer. Maybe you want to change out the banner to something else, have it have a different picture or a different style or same with the buttons. Or if you want to make your own, it's awesome if you just want to click open a button and then edit it to meet your needs, right? So you can change out the picture, you can change out the words, or if you want, you can use it as is. Once you've kind of customized your button or banner, or if you're using as is, you just come over here to file, say download. You want to save it as a JPEG or a PNG, either one, it doesn't matter. If you want to create your own from scratch, I use Google Drawing, but you can use other programs like Canva or Pictochart or something like that. Um, banners work great in Canvas 10 by 2, and buttons work great 2 by 2, or if you want a smaller button, a 1 by 1 when it comes to sizing. All right, let's take a look inside of Canvas. Let's talk about how you would swap out banners and buttons and also how to direct link. So let's start first. Our rich content editor has been updated so everything looks a little bit different. Um, but one thing I'm not a fan of is how small the box is. So if you could click on these dots and drag it down, that box can be much bigger. Okay, let's talk about banners and buttons. We replace them the same exact way, okay? So I'm gonna just click on a, a button here. I'm gonna hit delete. To swap it out, I'm just going to click my mouse. I do like it centered. It's already coming up centered, but if it wasn't, I could come here and choose centered. So now you can see it's not, so now I will center it. Okay. Come up here to the image icon. You can upload it, or if it's already a course image, you can snag it. I'm going to upload mine. And if I remember correctly, it was this one. I'll select it, say open and submit and now it is in there. Okay, and I do the same thing with the banner if I'm swapping the banner out. If you're kind of starting from scratch, I like to put my images inside of tables. I just think it makes it um, more symmetrical and it, it spans the space of the Canvas page. So I like doing it that way. All right, how do I direct link? Because these should be hyperlinks to more information. So let me show you. I'm just going to click on an image to select it, come up here to my links option, and I have two options. I can send it to somewhere outside of Canvas with an external link. This would be like a website, or it could be a shareable Google Doc or shareable slides or something like that. Click it. All I do is paste the URL here and say done, and that will turn this into a hyperlink. The other option is to link it to somewhere inside the course. So when I click that, all of the options come up for me. So since this is contact information, I'd probably put that in a Canvas page. So I'm going to come up here to Pages. I'll pretend this is it. All I do is click on it, and now it is linked to that Canvas page. And then I would repeat the process for all of these. I also have the option of linking to something in my Google Drive. I click the Apps icon. I don't have an answer as to why, but when you click here, nothing happens. You actually have to click, click on the words Google Apps, and then it opens. I, I don't have an explanation. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me either. But once in here, I would simply find what it is I want to link. In this case, I'm going to choose Link Over Embed, and now this link will take them directly to that item in my Google Drive. So three options, external, course, or Google Drive. Also, in our, in our agenda, we want to have direct links to everything. Let me um, practice. Let me just put some words in here. 
Okay, so if I'm going to give them an assignment, I don't want them to come up here, click assignments, scroll through, find it, and click it open. Instead, I want to link it directly here. So I'm just going to highlight those words, come up here to my links. It's a course link since it's a, an assignment inside of Canvas. Down arrow, find it, click on it. And now kids just click here and they go directly to that assignment. They don't have to spend all the time looking for it and you know coming back here, what was it called again? It's a direct link. And that is something in the parent survey, our parents really over and over, multiple parents were talking about how this would make it so much simpler and less clicks. All right, so I can link directly to course, I can again do an external link to a website of any kind and again I can do my Google Apps and get something from my Google Drive just like I did with the buttons I can do it inside my agenda okay so you've got your template and now you need to make it your home page so here's what you do click pages say view all pages find the template you want to be your home page I'll pick um, this one. Make sure it is published because if it's not published, when you click the three dots, you're not going to see the option that says use as front page. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. You'll notice the front page stamp comes here. When I come to my home page, it should be my home page. Or when I come to the home button, sorry, it should be my home page. If it's not my home page, I'm going to come over here to choose home page and I'm going to select pages front page and notice it's going to be listed there and I would say save. I can also do this where I hit change and from there it will let me change to a different page. So there's a couple of different ways to go about it. All right, so I think we covered a lot in this video. Just remember if you want help with any of these things, feel free to contact me at any time and I would be more than happy to help you set up your Canvas page. Thanks so much.